What's going on, everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax, where we create confident coaches because confident coaches create great environments for players. This video is an excerpt from our How to Beat a Zone video, where we're going to be discussing how we can use the man-to-man Cuse motion offense motions to attack a zone defense. This video is brought to you by Powlax.com. This is where we house and organize all of the Powlax lacrosse coaching content so that it's easier to find. And I'm just going to go through some of our sections right now, show you what it has to offer so that if there's ever a time you need more lacrosse content, you know exactly where to find it. Our first section is our master coach section. This is all of our strategy videos, our offenses, defenses, man up, man down, riding, clearing, some box videos. This is also where this video will live and it will probably be like the two-man game video that will be divided up into sections that correspond to each way that we are going to try to beat the zone. Our next section is the drill section. This includes offensive passing, shooting, dodging drills, defensive drills like approaches, concept drills to teach players concepts we're going to use in games, and of course, player favorite drills like the do scrapping drill, uh, general one-on-ones, and of course, Wes Jenny. Our next section is the skill development section. This is going to teach proper technique as well as how players can practice at home. And then my personal favorite part of this section is the guided wall ball. This is actually going to have players play wall ball while they're listening and it's going to tell them when to switch from one technique to the other so that they can spend 10 minutes getting the best wall ball session that they can. Finally is the new lacrosse section. This is what we want to send to any of our brand new players and parents to get them started off on the right foot. The first video is what is lacrosse. It's going to go over the origins of the sport as well as its modern representations and it's going to get players excited about being a part of the sport. There was an ESPN documentary about Jim Brown playing lacrosse a while back that's in that video. It, it absolutely hypes people up. And the final section in our new to lacrosse, which is really important, is the choosing the right stick. This is going to teach people about pocket mechanics so that when they buy a brand new stick, they either know to get it restrung or they just know that the stick might not work as well as others so that when their kid struggles, they understand that it's the pocket's problem, not the kid. And hopefully they just get a good stick so that the, the kid will enjoy the sport. The final thing I'm going to show you on palax.com is the memberships. So the one I'm going to focus on is the silver membership, and this gives you access to the playbook PDFs that correspond to all of these videos, including this video. So what you do is you become a silver member for $5 per month, and you get access to my entire digital playbook. Then when you find something that you want, you just come to the videos. Let's say you want to do the Ohio State Pairs offense. Click on to that video, go to the page. And then you're going to click this PDF button below the video and it's going to download the playbook PDF for that. You can download it, print it out, put it in your playbook, have it forever, bring it to practice so you have something easy to reference. Now, this next clip is going to be the next way we want to talk about defeating the 3v2 on that side. And so the first thing we're going to show is an alley dodge with a near side sneak. And what's cool about this is if you use the Qs offense, this is part of the Qs offense. So... As this player dodges down the alley, once he gets down far enough, this four zone is going to come out. So as he dodges, the four is going to step out to play the dodger. And if this attackman, A5, right here, just kind of sits on the pipe or just follows the slide up field, he's going to be able to catch a nice pass and then turn inside to shoot. The other cool thing about Cuse in this example is the crease attackman, A4, here is going to mirror upwards, which is going to bring the crease defenseman up with him which will give a5 some space so as he dodges he dumps it down to a5 and then a5 can turn and shoot or if the crease does now come down now the crease guy can actually come down and um, have another pass to a goal so now let's see that one in action so ball swings around attacking a shorty Dodges, draws the low defenseman, which creates space for the player at X, who turns the corner and scores. Same idea here with um, Duke and Delaware two nights ago. Alley dodge goes down the side. Player sneaks from X as the low defenseman is drawn out. Nice, easy dodge, draw, and dump. Now, this it does take a bit of savviness to throw these passes, 
but it's definitely something where you're if they're going to abide by these zone rules you're going to have these looks the final kind of wheel that i like a lot because it corresponds with the Cuse motion offense is the four-man top wheel basically in Cuse, if we're going to sweep across the top we're going to have a fading player who is going to be open a lot if we end up um drawing players into the middle off that opposite side so the four-man wheel as he dodges to top center you've got a fade from top center okay yeah all right the final wheel that I want to show you is the four-man wheel that we have. Okay, okay. The final wheel that I want to show you is the four-man wheel that actually corresponds to the Q's motion offense, and that's the four-man top wheel. So if five here sweeps across the top in the Q's motion offense, three is going to mirror out, one is going to fade to the backside, and then two is going to use his void cut. Now this void cut is one of the things we really want to focus on. As he clears through this space... He is going to create space for one to then dodge after the fact. So as they, as he sweeps, we have the throwback to the mirror. We also have the look inside if he can create the space with five. And then he has the pass forward to the dodge down the opposite alley. Now, like the side wheel, we also have a seal variant where we can actually seal the backside player into the middle of the field to create space for our dodge. So now, as we have our sweep, fade, cut the middle, the cut the middle is going to seal his zone off and that's going to create space for one to catch the ball and then dodge. And so this is just a really cool way of creating offense if you are already used to the Cuse motion offense. And it's something that if you're using that motion, when you play a zone, you really don't have to be worried because you have the alley dodge with that clear through and then you also have the sweep where you can seal off that backside zone now you do have to be a bit savvy to hit some of those looks but that's kind of what we're here to teach right especially at the high school level now in terms of coaching against zones at the youth level it's really stick skills right um i'm not a big fan of you know if you do have the player who's got you know range that's great um, but then just the, even just teaching these principles to the players in practices using sideways 3v2s or like one side 4v4s, there's a lot of different things you can do, which you guys can get in touch with me by leaving a comment down in the comment section if you'd like to do that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit me up on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the above. Have a good one. I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.